easy for them. Having to go to Monrovia to play Liberia in front of their own fans. I mean, Morocco had it a bit easy in the sense that the away game was in Morocco. And that, look, it's not fair, but um, you know, do you feel like you can you can overcome sort of this that kind of challenge? I mean, this um, this is what we up against, and we can't run away from it. I mean, a few years ago, you know, the ball was in our court when we played Sao Tome twice here. So, you know, we it happened for them now. It's it's their it's their um, it's their luck. So, we just need to focus and obviously going there. Especially, it's going to be hostile, you know. And those games, that's where characters are built and that's where players are built, you know. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I enjoy those type of games and hopefully, you know, the team will be ready for all the the difficult. Difficulties that we'll be experiencing that time. So rather than you team, you guys not part of you being along with me. the relationship building between No, I mean the camp has been extremely amazing. You know, the last uh, few camps that we've had, I mean you can see the core of the team has been there. So coach has mentioned also that he's got his team now and there's only I think one or two new faces. So that's also important, you know, because um the morale in the team is good uh, concerning uh Regarding the, the last two camps that we had, we had uh, three wins and one draw. So, yeah, the mood in the team is is, is amazing. You know, the spirit amongst each other, you know, is, is, is high and something that I haven't been, uh, you know, uh, used to in the national team, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's good. And you guys can see that it's paying fruit. It's paying fruit, you know, because with uh, the spirit amongst ourselves being so high, you know, it's rubs off on the field as well. There's also a bit more scoring form in the squad. I mean, Percy scored one past you the other day. Um, Lyle scored for Burnley, as we said. I think Bongi Longwani and Minnesota's got one already this season. So does that bode well, you think, for the upcoming games, that there's a, there's a bit more scoring form in the Bavana squad? Definitely. I mean, like Not I to said... mention Cassius. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's amazing, you know, because we've always cried, you know, as a country that we don't have that serious that serial, you know, goal scorer, you know, so we've got a few now and, you know, we need to cherish it and we need to, to help them as a team, you know, as a back line, you know, to keep clean sheets. You know, once we do our job here, we sure, you know, that they'll do the job up front because, like you mentioned, all of them are scoring, you know, even Saïs La Passa, two week, uh, week ago, you know, he scored a brace, so it's good for them, it's good for us, so hopefully they can carry the, you know, the club form into the national setup. Uh, Ronza, COVID meant that you don't play in those hostile environments as much. I think the one and only game might have been uh, against Ghana in that World Cup qualifier because other teams, you know, there were no stadiums, there were no spectators. Uh, but with Monrovia, given that, you know, the squad is a blend of experience and, and, and youth, how ready do you think? They are, you know, given your past experience from that age, having grown up in the national team as well. Oh, what I've realized over the last few years is, you know, the crowd, they don't play the game. You know, they yes, they're there outside making noise, but, you know, you just need to stay focused, you know, prepare well throughout the week. And, you know, you, you have a job to do is to play football. You know, what they do outside of the field shouldn't affect you, you know, and that's where the senior guys will, will help, you know, especially the younger guys. You know, because, yes, it can be, you know, it can be tough. It does get tough and it does get loud sometimes. So communication, you know, sometimes is, is a bit tricky. And that's where we need to help each other. You know, when we get, uh, you know, stoppages, that's when we need to help each other. So, yeah, the experienced guys, you know, need to, to, to step up now and help. But Ronza, I'm, from an individual perspective, um, the traveling, doesn't it take this toll on you a bit? Yeah, it does. It does, but uh, you need to... Invest in yourself, invest in your body, recover well, rest well. Um, you can't be, you know, up and down, you know, because you play so many games, you know, and so many traveling. So you can't make that, use that as an excuse, you know, when you have days to, to recover, you know. So you need to, your recovery is highly important as, you know, training. So, and, you know, my club coach and technical team they emphasize highly on that you know that recovery is as much as important as you know a normal training session obviously Liberia will have a big home crowd we think are you hopeful we'll have a big home crowd on friday i'm hoping i'm hoping you know and 
if I can take this opportunity to urge, you know, the fans to come out in numbers, you know, get behind the boys. You know, we need you. We need you now more than ever. Um, obviously, we're in this together, you know, so if they can play their part, you know, we'll play our part in the field as well. They need to be, you know, that extra man that we've lacked over the last few few years, you know, and get just get the spirit going again, you know, especially for Bafana Bafana, especially for our country. There's so many negatives going around. So, you know, come out in numbers, you know, get behind the boys and hopefully we can do you guys proud. That's right.